Hello everyone, I'm Mandeep Barmi here. Um, in this video, we are, we are in uh, Brampton, Mississauga area. And uh, if you are looking for a uh, driving instructor in uh, Brampton, Mississauga area, uh, let me know, uh, give me a phone call or send me a text message. Uh, you guys see the number on the screen. And uh, you can also book your driving lessons um, online through the website. So I will post the um, uh, link um, in the description below. So in this video, uh, we will be looking in uh, how to drive in a residential area. We might look at some um, left turns, right turns, how to turn left, how to turn right. So basically, if you're going for your, uh, you know, your first uh, driving test, if you're going for your, um, you're trying to get your uh, G2 license, um, I will um, help you guys out. Um, I am also doing videos uh, on the highway as well. If you want to get your, um, you know, G license, um, I will help you as well. So if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also share this video on your uh, Facebook page or WhatsApp group. Uh, so other people, uh, your friends, family members, um, they can, you know, help. Um, uh, the video will help them as well. All right. So uh, let's uh, get going. Uh, so seat belt is on, car is on, mirrors are good, and um, now we are good to go. So I'm just gonna make sure the handbrake is not on, and uh, now we're gonna shift into drive. And uh, anytime when you're moving from part position, you are required to signal and shoulder check. So we're gonna signal left, left shoulder check, and uh, we are going straight uh, from here. In residential area, if you don't see a speed limit sign, that means it's uh, 50 kilometers maximum. But uh, that doesn't mean you have to drive at 50 kilometers because you drive according to the road condition and the weather. So if the you know if the if you're driving on a narrow street, you see lots of parked cars and the road is turning, uh, then you won't be able to drive at 50 kilometers. So in your driving test, your um, examiner, um, they will ask you to do a three-point turn, parallel parking. Um, they might ask you to do a reverse parking, depends on the location. Uphill parking, downhill parking. Okay. So uh, when you're, uh, you know, when you're uh, turning, uh, you wanna make sure uh, you're staying in your lane and um, on this uh, stop sign uh, we will go straight from here now this one is a four, uh, sorry two-way stop sign not a four-way it's a two-way stop sign because the other traffic does not have a stop sign so you can stop before the sidewalk now since uh, the stop sign it doesn't say three-way four-way all way right so that means the other traffic does not stop so you should be uh, checking on both sides if you can't see properly, you can creep forward, check on both sides. When it's clear, that's when you go. And make sure you're doing a full stop. If you're doing a rolling stop, um, that will be automatic fail in the driving test. Um, around this car, you're required to uh, shoulder check. You can slow down a little bit. And uh, now we can, um, since uh, both cars are parked too close, we can actually stay um, in this lane. Uh, but make sure you're maintaining distance from the parked cars. You need a minimum one meter. So that's about three feet. Going back, shoulder check again.